So uh, the weather is unseasonably warm for February and so I'm going to take this opportunity to do some of the work underneath the van. I've got two water, uh, fresh water tank and a grey tank to fit. If I get time this weekend I might also look at putting the compressor and things underneath but the main plan is to try and get the water tanks underneath the van. Here you can see the two tanks we've got. These came from CAC tanks as a kit. Um, not massively impressed because it didn't come with any sort of instructions. When I emailed them about it, they said, we can't give you any instructions. So I'm going to have to work it out as we go along. There's a 50 litre tank on top, that's the waste. And then a 77 litre tank underneath, that's the fresh water. The key is going to be getting this fresh water tank fitted because I need to work out where the fill port's going because I think we're going to have to drill another hole in the side of the van. As per usual when working under the van, it's very difficult to show anything. Um, nope. Right, so, rear wheels there, rear axle, I'm trying to give you a bit of reference point, suspension mount. This big hole here is for the water fill pipe, so you can just see, the, this is the, this is the water tank here, and this is the fill point here. Uh, this isn't kind of bolted in place yet, I've just mocked it up. So at this point here, we're going to go inside the van now and drill a hole down through the, it's between the inner and the outer walls, which is quite wide at the base, and then we can put an outer hole on the main wall and seal that up the same way we did the uh, roof vents and things like that. That will give us our fill point in, and then we can do... Uh, I think I'll need a, a, another hole near it in a similar place so I can put the cold water back up through there as well. I think I think I'm going to do that. If not, I'll take the cold water across the chassis rail and up at the back. But I want it inside as soon as possible in case we try and winterise it at a later date. So here, hopefully you can see at four mounting points which I have drilled and then covered in wax oil from the white cups of the four very well. I need to find the J bolts and I'll show you how they fit. So hopefully you can just see I've mocked up how these bands work. So the J bolts go in that's not focusing is it? These J bolts go into the chassis member through the hole and then the band goes around the bottom of the tank and then you just do up these nuts and that'll tighten the tank and pull it up onto the bottom of these chassis rails. So we've got two bands to on it, one here, one here. So we're going to um, put some of this insulation, it's actually insulation we bought for the inside of the van but I'm going to put this on the tank mainly so that because it's somewhat close to the exhaust this um, reflective surface should help keep the temperature out of the tank just stop it melting so I'm going to um, stick a layer of this over the outside of the tank so here's the tank with the um, foil backed foam insulation it actually might do uh, an okay job of just protecting it against frost if it just if you have a cold snap overnight. So yeah, happy with that. Now I'm going to try and get it bolted onto the bottom of the van.
here you can see the freshwater tank with the fill hose connected up and the drain hose connected. This is the fresh water feed into the van, uh, which I'll do at another point because I haven't got the adapter for that yet. I've made the holes in the body for it, the pipe to go up, but I need a um, 15mm to 12mm adapter so then I can hook it up to all the pipe that I've got. Uh, I also need to, just about see it there, there's an electrical connector, that's for the water level meter inside the tank and I need to run the wires for that inside the cabin. Uh, I think I'm going to change that connector because that connector is not waterproof in the slightest. I've got some super seal connectors so I'll have to do that which will be fun underneath the van, but it should be doable. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty tight fit, but it feels nice and secure, and it doesn't hang below the sills or the exhaust, which is really good for ground clearance. So overall, I'm happy with this. Um, I think I need to go and do the fill port next. So here's the location for the water fill point, which I'm going to cut the hole for now. I've made a plywood template, uh, it's a bit rough but it'll do, which is also going to work as my backing ring for, to give it something a bit more to screw into. So I need to put a bit more masking tape on, then I'll mark out the inner ring which is the bit I'm going to cut out, cut the whole line up, make sure the fill port fits, drill out those three holes, then I'm going to put mastic on this back edge of this stick it in place and then use some black sealant to see, kind of seal it up and make sure it's kind of double, triple waterproof. So it should be a pretty uh, reasonable job, nothing uh, scarier than the roof fence or windows that I've already put in. So other than a slight false start where I snapped the first blade, that went really well. Um, and this fits nicely. So I'm going to put some mastic on the back of this. And I'm going to put an extra bit on here and here where it's slightly curved out. And I'm going to pre-drill, drill out these three holes. So I drill these three holes, then I just need to um, put a bit of uh, hammer right around the edge just to protect the bare metal. And then I can uh, probably attach the uh, screw on. Somehow it's even tighter to film the waste tank than the fresh water tank. Um, one compromise here is that the waste tank just butts up against the filler pipe. But I don't think that's going to affect the um, ability to fill the tank properly. But well, uh, I'll probably bolt it in place, go fill it up, and make sure. Uh, this one does sit a tiny bit lower than the other one, although. It's, um, Hardly low in the sill, so I'm not too worried about it. It's pretty much the same level as the fuel tank. Now I need to drop the tank out of the way and drill some holes to put some rivets in the frame because that's how I'm going to attach this one. So the kit for the uh, grey water tank just comes with this flexible band that you have to bend and cut to shape. So when I was under the van, I marked out the height at which everything was going to sit and then I'm going to bend it sorry, you can't see very clearly I'll bend it at the right point and then I'm going to cut it off uh, and I'll do that twice uh, it doesn't look very tidy but once it tightens up that'll pull these kinks out I just need to make sure I don't make it too long I'll make two of them and then I can get underneath and 
use them to mark out the positions for the holes for the rivnets. So hopefully you can see uh, the rivnets that I've added. And now we're going to push the tank up into place and do the straps up. Here's the tank bolted in place. Um, yeah, actually this one wasn't too bad. Because these straps are more flexible, it's easier to just bolt up this side and that side, put the tank in place, and then do the straps up. So that's going to work pretty well. Um, I'll probably just plug these for now. I need to do the wiring yet. You can see there's a couple of connects up there, and there's a connector on the other side which has got a non waterproof connector on it that needs changing. So I need to do that. I need to have a think about routing the um, drain pipes through. You can just about see the hole over there. That's where the shower comes through. So we've got a simple level meter to go with the van. The um, drinking water has kind of three state, four stages of empty through to full, and the waste tank just has a it's full. Thing. So I've got to run these cables underneath the van to the connectors. As I pointed out earlier, these are not waterproof, so I will probably just replace them with some super seal connectors which I've got, which are waterproof. But the first thing I want to do is route the cables underneath the van. Here you can see I've got the cables run, which is slightly awkward, but I managed to get them. Uh, for the level meter which have run down a similar route to the water pipes uh, as I said before these this connector that comes supplied is not suitable and because I had to take the connector off cut it off this one anyway to get it through the body I'm going to um, I'm putting on some super seal connectors where are they? Yeah, so. but what's awkward is I need to do the crimping underneath the van so right Lying here, listening to an audio book, crimping underneath my van. So, after a lot more lying on my back underneath the van, doing crimps and zip tying, I now have the sensors all wired up, which are the level sensors, and they go into the van. I can't test them yet because I haven't got uh, any power in the van, but I'm um, or any way of blocking the tanks and filling up the water, but I'm I'm happy enough for now, um, and I can get at them should there be a problem. So it's a bit weird to try and do an outro uh, with the subject in the frame, which I often try and do whilst I'm lying underneath my van <laughs> with headphones on. But yeah, it's um, it's a job that's done. I'm happy it's done. Obviously, as you can see here on the uh, grey water tank, I haven't got any pipes connected yet, I'll just pop this tap on in a second, uh, it'll be a little while yet before I get around to putting the um, grey water feeds in, because I haven't got the appliances that need them. Yeah, I'm happy with it, I think. The only question mark is the proximity of the exhaust to the fresh water tank, I'll have to keep an eye on that. There's a couple of things there. Worst case scenario is it's so hot that it melts the tank. It shouldn't do. Uh, the other bit to keep an eye on is if it heats the water up in the tank too much, it could promote the growth of bacteria, um, which is obviously no good at all. So we'll keep an eye on it. I'll perhaps have a look at, um, maybe try and get a temperature probe on it at some point, or temperature probe, measure the temperature of the water on the tap, having been driving for a while. We'll see. Uh, we'll keep an eye, we'll keep fresh. I mean, generally, we wouldn't drink water out of a tank anyway. We'd always boil it first, uh, which should kill off any nasties that haven't grown in it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you'd like watching me lie underneath vans, I've got at least two more jobs under here, so please subscribe, like the video, drop us any comments. Uh, we're also on Instagram, Facebook, so if you find us, Say hello.